The Sami people live in Lapland in the far north. They are fishermen, reindeer herders, around 80,000 of them. Many of the decisions made in the European Union directly affect them, which is why they participate in a European project to strengthen ties. That will uh, continue to allow us to do our traditional way of life, to allow us to keep on using our language, to exercise our culture, and actually have the right to stay where we are and have been since time memorial. This hut is a gati, a Sami house. It is built with birch branches, leaves and moss, and it blends into the landscape. The bond of respect and sustainability with the environment is characteristic of the Sami, the only recognised indigenous people in Europe. Their territory, which is called Sápmi, spans two countries of the European Union, Sweden and Finland, and two countries outside the European Union, Norway and Russia. The way of life is linked to sails, fishing, reindeer herding, crafts and is influenced by community policies. The European project filling the EU Sampi knowledge gaps aims to strengthen the mutual understanding and Sami representation in Brussels. We are aiming to work with issues such as um, conservation, with the traditional livelihoods, markets, uh, more on the research issue. Also the youth participation is something that we think uh, should be more built here in the EU. In these three countries, Norway, Sweden and Finland, this project had a total budget of almost 1 million euros, of which more than 200,000 have been contributed by the Intergreg Norway programme and almost half a million by Finland, and Sweden thanks to the EU development funds. In the Sampi territory, there are nine languages and just one song, the Yoik, which paints the soul of beings and landscapes. We have a saying that where the words are ending, the Yoik begins. And then I made a yoik to Svahken, which is one of the uh, big mountains in the area. It's quite high, and the back of the mountain is more floating down. And then you have the yoik. Hey. 